Hi, welcome. My name is Sandy Park and I am a professional organizer and KonMari consultant and I'm here today partnering with Olson Homes. I'm here in Los Angeles at their NOAA model and we are going to showcase this beautiful space that they have and walk through all of the wonderful pieces that they have including an open kitchen like we have here. I absolutely love this open kitchen because it's open concept and it's free and clear and you can pretty much see everything that you have and own. So this is a fantastic kitchen and it's light and bright, which I love and it's super cheery as well. One of the features of this particular kitchen that I really love is this sink. This sink is very nice and it's got this wide mouth here, uh, very beautiful stainless steel, as well as if you look under the sink, we've got some organization tools that we can share with you and hopefully help you guys to be well on your way with tidying your home. So if we look down here, we've got some wonderful tools that we put into place. We've got some organizing bins over here and what we've done here is separated them all by bin so that we have some organization in the space. It's very important to have separation in your items under the sink so that you can see what you have and then also grab by category. Here I've got some folded towels and then I've got everything together. So you see that things that are like kind items we wanna to bring together so that we can have them all in one spot. It also helps you so that you can see when stock is low. And then here I've got this wonderful turntable that I love. You can grab what's in the back and what's in the front as well. One of the really unique challenges of under the kitchen sink or any sink for that matter is that you have the piping and it obstructs the amount of usable space under the sink. So it's really important to use bins that are gonna be low enough like these that you can access everything and not be an obstruction with this item over here. So this is a really good solution if you're trying to organize underneath the sink and then utilize the space and not have to deal with the obstruction here. I wanted to share with you guys a quick tip on decanting. Oftentimes you don't want to have this marketing noise in your kitchen cabinet because it becomes a little bit of a distraction and it's a little bit too much visual clutter. So what we have here is a wide mouth mason jar like this. And this is perfect because this is going to fit the contents of this item and we actually can still see all that we have. This is great, especially when you see that stock is low and you need to repurchase the item. Right now, I'm in the heart of the home, which is the kitchen. And right here, I've got a junk drawer that I'm gonna open up. And I've got a lot of different things in this junk drawer. And I know that a lot of you probably have a junk drawer as well. And what is a junk drawer, actually? It's a bunch of random items that probably don't have a home. So what we wanna do is make sure that every item in this drawer has a home. So the way that we do that is you assess what you have in this drawer. And I see a lot of like kind items. So I've got some dog items here, and I've got some random odds and ends, things from the dentist that you collect whenever you go, like toothbrush and toothpaste, and maybe some dental floss here. There's some batteries, there's always gonna be batteries in your junk drawer, right? So I'm gonna put these to the side, and what I'm doing is I'm grouping these all together because we wanna keep all like kind items together when we're going through organizing the drawer. Here are some office supplies that I'm gonna to put to the side. And what we're gonna do is make an assessment. So I've got some chip clips as well. So now that we have our items here sorted together, what you wanna do is you wanna make an assessment of whether or not you need these items, first of all, and then second of all, whether or not they're gonna live in your junk drawer. So dog supplies maybe don't belong in the junk drawer. This might be belonging in with all of the other dog supplies, and so we'll put that to the side. Batteries also might actually live in this junk drawer, so you gotta make this decision about where these items are going to live. Chip clips right here, for sure, we're in the kitchen, so these probably can live here as well, and so, when you are going through your junk drawer, make sure you group all these items together and decide where they live. 
Any of these items from the dentist probably don't need to live in the kitchen, so we can probably put this somewhere else, like in the bathroom. So once you've made your decision about what's gonna live in this drawer, we're gonna take everything out, put all the items that don't belong, put them in the spot that they do, and then all the items that we have laid out here that will live in this spot, we'll put them back. I wanted to share with you guys a quick tip on unruly cords like this. When you put this in your junk drawer, it's gonna be pretty tangled up and a big old mess when you need it. So what I like to do is I wanna get the end where the earbuds are and I wrap the cord around my hand like this. Once I do that, I cinch it here at the middle section and then I get a very nice Velcro strap like this and I grab it at the middle part and I wrap it around. When you do this, you get a very organized and tidy electrical cord. Okay, so now we have a sneak peek here at a finished junk drawer. What I have here is organized all of the items that we had previously in this drawer, taken out the items that no longer belong, and now these are the items that are gonna permanently live in this junk drawer. And it's no longer called a junk drawer because everything has a home. So I've got the batteries here organized together, standing upright so that you can see everything that you have. Here are the chip clips all organized together, the earbuds in this section, I've got my lighter, my scissors, and then one thing here, I've got these items vertically stored as well so that you can see everything that you have. That's essential for a junk drawer or any drawer for that matter so that you can see everything at a glance and you can grab and go as you need. Today we'll talk about the cabinets behind me and showcase the beautiful space that we have and how you can maximize it. So when I open this cabinet here, you can see everything that we've got stocked. I'm utilizing some organizational tools here. I've got this tiered shelf, which I absolutely love because it's very functional and you can see everything that you have, especially in the very back. This tiered shelf can show you everything at a glance and that is really important, especially when you are cooking for your family or for yourself or when you're about to go to the grocery store and you can quickly see what needs to be restocked. Another organizational tool that I have here is this turntable, which I have these spices in. And I very much love this as well because you can see everything quickly at a glance in terms of what you have. And it's right next to the stove so that you can grab and go and grab and, and cook as well. Up here on the second shelf, I've got some bins showcasing some product up there. And I especially like this one because it has a little bit of a handle. So I can pull out the bin and grab the product easily. For someone who is short like me, it's very easy to not be able to reach the items in the far, far back. So this helps me access everything in the back, especially the back stock. When we have our cabinets organized in this manner, it's really important in terms of saving time and being able to see everything that you have so that you can access everything very quickly. This is important because when you're cooking for your family or you're a super busy individual, grabbing everything quickly is what you wanna have. And when you're cooking, having this turntable here with all of the spices very readily accessible is very important so that you can cook your meal, feed your family, and spend the rest of the time doing the things that you love Thank you guys so much for joining me on tips and recommendations on how to organize your kitchen cabinet. I wanted to also share with you guys a giveaway that we are doing here with Olson Homes. I've got this book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, that is going to be given away, as well as a virtual tidying session with myself. I'm so excited for whoever the winner is going to be, and so check out the post details so that you have more information on the giveaway.